a very warm welcome to all my dear students good morning how you all are i hope you all are fit fine and learning so today uh, our topic is word processor before starting this uh, topic i will give you a little uh, intro about this topic that word processors are we yeah, here we will talk about those softwares or those applications which are helpful for us in our reading writing work okay this uh, is a uh, softwares or we can say a combination of softwares are here uh, which have which are very helpful for uh, us for creating document and many other work so we will see their work their features and how they are helpful for us in this session and uh, our next sessions also so let's start now first we will take a introduction about word processor what is an word processor a word processor is an application software which is capable of creating editing saving and printing document now at very first we have to understand that what is an application software so application softwares are those softwares which are very helpful or which are used for a specific purpose only now here the what is the specific purpose of our word processor is that it is used or helpful for us to for creating or editing any kind of document and those document we can edit and also print a word processor should never be confused with a text editor such as notepad which allow us to create and edit plain text now word processor is different from notepad in notepad we have very less feature in comparison to our word processor okay we have much more features including uh, our text background and other copyright rules in which uh, word processors are very helpful whereas while using a word processor you can make changes and illustrate the text so obviously in a word processor we can change our text and we can do other kind of changes like changing a uh, color of font or uh, the other text we have uh, we are going to write the advent of a word processor now here we are going to uh, learn uh, understand about important feature of a word processor and here you will understand that we have a one software which we are using from last year uh, and we are practicing on it so it is very easy topic okay you can easily uh, complete or easily complete all over the task i will give you here <clears throat> so the advent of a word processor has overcome all the limitations of a typewriter <clears throat> thus leading to the ultimate extension of the letter now in a word processor we have uh, broken the limitations which we have in a typewriter which is used for a specific purpose or which give us a specific uh, uh, writing applications only here we have a lot of work and lot of features in our word processor how and what are they we will see here first one is ease and speed a word processor provides an easier and faster method to type the text so here a user has right or power to type easily plus faster rather than a typewriter editing feature now editing feature is most important whether you are making a document or a video it is very important and it's a very lengthy time it's take a lot of time so here how it is helpful for us let's see using a word processor you can apply the editing feature like copying moving and deleting text so we can here if you want the same text again and again we can copy it if you want it to move from one place to another we can move it if you want to delete it we can delete the text you can write a you can overwrite or insert a sentence paragraph or word so obviously if we have so much features we can insert a sentence paragraph or a word anywhere where we need page number header and footer can also be inserted so all these things give a uh, proper way of document in our word tabular data in documents can also be presented tabulans here tabular means the data which is represent which is represented in a form of rows and columns like ms excel formatting features it provides various formatting features such as bold face bold face means that uh, we make bold letters italic underlining font name font color word art etc 
so here we have lot of features and you can uh, you, it's your duty also that you will check all these features in your ms word and just check how we are uh, 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 data more uh, impressive or uh, what we can say more clear storage feature it stores all your documents for future use which can be retrieved whenever you want so this is the most important aspect of this that we can store multiple files a place and we can retrieve those files whenever we need either we can save them in our system plus we can save them in our mails now graphic feature you can add picture drawing and charts etc to your documents so here we can uh, we have a facility to add picture drawing drawing means uh, any kind of uh, uh, drawing you have make in ms paint and charts charts you all know bar graph like this uh, this enhance the overall presentation of a document here it means that it will give a present look or a uh, presenting a data you can uh, present your data in a presentful manner or easy manner so that other can understand it much better printing feature you can easily take printouts of your documents a document on your screen will look exactly similar to its printed version so suppose the these words you can see uh, you are seeing here or you are watching in this video if i want to take out its print out it the print out will come as it is that's a that is most important thing that whatever the topic or whatever the data you want to print out it is coming as it out and it will create no confusion vocabulary and spell check feature now before starting this feature i will tell you that what it is suppose if you have to write some lines and over in these lines you have written some spellings wrong like in drawings you misplace r in charts you forget to type a in documents you have not typed u okay u u very good so what happens in these word features it will give you a red line under those words which will tell you that there is a error in spelling and when you click on them it will give you the right word that word that word could be for to know more about it let's have a look over here a word processor helps in keeping your document error free as it has a spell check feature which is not only corrects the misspelled words but also suggests the possible synonyms like i said the word you have not written properly it will suggest you its best possible synonyms it is also capable of rectifying grammatical errors that is also very helpful like me also <coughs> so mail merge this is also a important feature this feature allows you to send a piece of text to multiple addresses for example if you want to send your birthday invitation to 100 friends invite me also okay the mail merge feature will keep the same invitation text for all and will change only the name and address of invited guests in short you can send a single message to your 100 friends with the help of mail merge feature without any change in our data hence this feature saves a lot of time and effort so you can understand it ole feature the object linking and embedding feature allows our word processor to interact with other programs by embedding object in a document now here from embedding you can understand that embedding means mixing of two or more features or uh, data together like in a written document you have inserted charts and that chart is include is from your ms excel which is which comes as a result of your some equations so over here it means that on that equation if you have make some kind of changes then the chart which is linked in your this feature uh, your know, ms word or your word art word processor it will the graph will also change now we will see the example if you have linked an equation written in the spreadsheet software here we are talking about ms excel to some charts in a word processor and if you change the equation values the charts will change automatically because an object of the equation is present with the word processor also now that object is our chart which is going to change according to the equation uh, change in our equation okay so whenever we are going to change on the equation the chart will also change because it is relatable to our that 
equation. Now, you will understand the core values or core terms of our this chapter which is popular word processors. So, here you will understand MS Word, Desktop Utility, Open Office, Desktop Utility, Google Docs, Google Document, you will know it about later on, Internet Based Utility, Notepad and Word Pad, Desktop Utility, LibreOffice Writer, Desktop Utility. So, here desktop utility means we commonly use over in desktops and Google Docs means which is uh, it is commonly used in internet only. Okay. So, these are some kinds of uh, word processors which are mostly used for typing or creating documents or data and these are its uh, we can say some or uh, examples are here some forms are here which have everyone have a different feature different purposes and use for different kinds of document or documentation we can say. Now here I will give you a little introduction about MS Word and in our uh, further videos you will find that I will give you some most interesting things about MS Word. Right now it is just an introductory part of your MS Office MS Word. So let us begin. Microsoft Word is a part of the Microsoft Office suite. Office suit means it is a complete package in which you find several types of uh, forms of Microsoft uh, documentation uh, software. It is the most commonly used word processor in the market. So, we use it mostly MS Word you know it. It performs many operations and some of its operations were. So, we all know about MS Word ok. A uh, lot of the time in lab you have done lot of things over here. And in this session, we will discuss about these things only. Okay, uh, this chapter is very simple for you all. Unless I want from your side that you will have to find out some more tools. Uh, I want from your side that you will come with more tools, more knowledge about MS Word, which will help you uh, later on in your career and other things also. Okay, so what kind of operations can we do in our doc uh, in our MS Word? We all know that we can use it for creating and saving document, opening an existing document, editing and forwarding document, previewing and printing a document. So, very first point is very clear, you can create a document, you can save it also. Second one, if same file or some file is existing over there, you can open it easily. Editing and formatting means, if you want to edit some part of it, you can do it. Formatting you can change according to your need. You can preview it also and you can print this document also. So, hoping from my side that you have understood all this work properly and if there is any problem feel free to ask ok. Now, what is your work? Your work is you have to write all the slides as a notes in your copy. Try to understand the concepts which I have told you in the slides or I have tried to tell you. Practice the MS word in your home daily at least 30 minutes or 15 minutes if you have if it is possible to for checking its tools and learn all the previous work done till now and feel free to ask any doubt. So, you have to learn ok before time runs you have to complete everything in time and come as a signing star ok. So, take care till then and if there is any problem ask me. Goodbye.